Uh, welcome to the Data Future channel. This is Shekhar and in this tutorial we are going to see very important concept of natural language processing that is word embedding. So what exactly word embedding is? So word embedding is uh, the vectorized representation of text is called as the word embedding. So out of that the word to vec is the most common method uh, which is used for the word embedding. Uh, so uh, this is uh, this can be used for the variety of applications like text similarity, recommendation systems and sentiment analysis. So we will understand what exactly is the word embedding. Uh, so uh, word embedding is uh, the approach of representing words and documents. Okay, uh, the word embedding or the word vector is the numeric vector input that represent a word in the lower dimensional space. Okay, it allows the words with the similar meaning to have the similar representation. The word embedding is a technique where the individual words are transformed into, uh, into a numerical representation of word and that is called as the vector. Uh, where the each word is mapped to the one vector and this vector is then learned in a such a way which resembles a neural network. The vector try to capture the various characteristics of that word with regards to overall text. These characteristics can include the semantic relationship of word definitions context with these numerical representations you can do many things like identify the similarity and the dissimilarity between the words a machine cannot process the text in its raw form thus converting the text into the embeddings will allow user to feed the embedding to classic machine learning models the simplest embedding would be one hot encoding of text data where each vector would be mapped to the category. You can see here, have a nice day. This is the text where the have is represented by this vector, A is represented by this and so on. What is the objective of the word embedding? So word embedding which is used to reduce the dimensionality, to use the word to predict the words around it, and inter-word semantics must be captured by using a word embedding. So these are the three objectives of the word embedding. So in that the very basic and uh, popular word embedding technique is word to vec architecture. Uh, word to vec um, embedding and its architecture is the effectiveness of word to vec comes from the from its ability to group together the vectors of similar words uh, given a large enough data set the word to vec can make a strong estimate about the words meaning based on their occurrences in the text this is the basic logic behind the word to vec. These estimates yield word association with other words in a corpus. For example, the word like king and queen would be a very similar to one another. When conducting the algebraic operation on the word embedding, you can find a close approximation of the word similarity. So here you can see the king and the queen uh, has a similar kind of uh, vectors or the matrix we can say so how these are represented you can see here uh, the woman and the queen are on the same uh, vector and the king and the man is uh, um, is 
uh, is closer to each other but here if you want to see the similarity between the queen and king based on the semantics they are close to each other there are two methods of verb to wake one is continuous bag of words and sec second one is a skip graph then first one we will see the continuous bag of words this ar architecture is very similar to feed forward neural network this model architecture essentially tries to predict the target word from the list of context word the intuition behind this model is quite simple given a phrase uh, like have a great day we will choose our target word to be a and our context words will be have great and day what this model will do it take distributed representation of the context words to try and predict the target word so it will consider the have great and day to predict a so um, it will try to uh, predict the the target word by using uh, the context of word second model is continuous skip grant model the skip grant model is the simple neural network with one hidden layer trained in order to predict the probability of given word being present when the input word is present okay the skip gram model uh, being the opposite of continuous bag of word model it takes the current word as the input and try to accurately predict the words before and after this current word okay this model essentially try to learn and predict the context context words around the specified input word the based on the experiments accessing the accuracy of this model was found that the prediction quality is improves uh, given a large range of word vector however it also increases the computational complexity so here in this diagram uh, you can see um, we are we are trying to take uh, the corpus of uh, corpus uh, th this is the corpus and we are considering the training data the man and we are predicting um, predicting these words okay um man the and man is okay um so in the, uh, likewise we are train the model and we we are we are predicting the words around it that is the basically a uh, skip gram model work uh, how that skip gram model works the target word is selected over the rolling window and the training data consist of the pairwise combination pairwise combination of the target word and all other words in the window this uh, is the resulting training data for the neural network once the model is trained we can especially yield the probability of the word word being a context word for a given target and uh, uh we we provide this to the neural network and neural network gives us the probability of that particular um target word uh, a corpus can be represented as a vector of n uh, size n where the each element in the n correspond to the word in the corpus during the training process we have pair of target and the context words Uh, the input id will have the zero in all element except for the target word okay the target word will be equal to 1 the hidden layer will learn the embedding representation of each word uh, each word and yielding the d dimension embedding space the output layer is the dense layer with softmax activation function 
and the output will essentially yield a vector of same size as an input. The each element in the vector will consist of the probability. This is this probability indi indicates the similarity between the target word and the associated word in the corpus. So this is the this is the working principle of skip graph. Now there is a, another uh, method which is used that is called as a glue. So this is uh, the method for creating the word embedding. In this method, we take the corpus and iterate through it and get the co-occurrence of co-occurrence of each word that is very important with other words in the corpus. We get the co-occurrence matrix through this. The word which is occur next to it. Uh, gets the value one and if uh, the word is one part one word apart then one by two if two word apart then one by three and so on okay suppose we are having this statement um, first one it is nice evening second one good evening and third one is it a nice evening so we uh, we have created this co-occurrence matrix here we have given all the words now this indicates zero means uh, this th th there is a there is a no difference or these words are same okay so is and it are uh, separated uh, they are nearer to each other you can see here it is and is it so here is one one then a is uh, um, in one case uh, this is um, a uh, is apart from one and here uh, it's a consecutive word what we can say so here is one and here is one by two so we are we are adding here one by two plus one S likewise we have to iterate each and every word and we have to create this matrix that is called as the co-occurrence matrix Initially, the vector for each word is assigned randomly and then we take the two pair of vectors and see how close they are to each other in the space. Um, if they occur together more often, um, then the, uh, have the higher value of the co-occurrence matrix and are far apart from the space, then they are brought closer to each other. If they are close to each other and they are frequent, uh, less frequently occurring, then we are uh, moving them apart in the space. After many iterations, uh, we have to carry out this and um, we have to approximate uh, the information from the co-occurrence matrix. Uh, the performance of glow matrix is glow uh, is uh, better than the word to vec in terms of both semantic and the uh, syntactic capturing actually. So glow is uh, very important than the word to vec. So there are so many techniques uh, which are used for the word embedding. So in this tutorial we have seen the the two one one is um, uh, one is um, word to hack and second one is uh, glow word embedding method for this tutorial um, that's all from my side thank you